Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis, and we are working on sides this week. It's been a fun, fun week, kind of zesting up the sides that we have for maybe around holidays and things yeah. like that. So. What can we add to some classic dishes that really makes it elegant or bumps up the flavor just to impress all of our guests, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, or our mother-in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Uh -huh. So today we're talking brown butter, which is why I'm kind of playing with my heat here. Um, this is uh, my absolute favorite flavor, um, the best way to really just bring something special to your dish. Uh -huh. Taking butter, melting it down, and melting a little bit past melted to brown. Okay. Smell that. It smells like popcorn almost, right? Yes, like it does. Nuts yes. and popcorn. Yep. So butter will brown before it burns, which is I want to make sure is the kind of key point, yeah. is that once it browns, it's pretty quick before you can lose it and then it will go to scorch and you don't want that. So you have okay. to kind of find it at the right moment. But right in between that stage is what we call brown butter. And um, like I said, it gets this smell of popcorn or almost this nutty, uh, toasty smell. Uh -huh. And it is just phenomenal. Delicious. That's what the smell is. Yeah. It's just delicious. So what I have done is I have added in some onions and we're kind of caramelizing the onions or softening and sweating them a bit um, okay. in the brown butter. All right. Um, so I just, you know, slice those julienne. Mm -hmm. and what we're going to be making today is a parsnip dish. We're going to do a sauteed parsnip, and um, we're going to add a few other little, little mm -hmm. fun things, um, yeah. uh, along with some apples and onions and parsnips. Um, this is just going to be maybe my favorite dish of the holiday season. Awesome. And I, t I was telling Allison on the break, I've never had parsnips before, ever. Which shocks me. And so this is all so new yeah, for me. So yeah, it looks like a white carrot, but yeah. it has a far more earthy flavor to okay. it. Um, and almost like an anise flavor a little bit. Like it is, it is phenomenal. Um, so we're going to take, now that we have started to caramelize and soften these onions, uh -huh. and we're just going to throw in our parsnips and saute those a bit as well. Okay. And what I did was I just took it like a carrot, peeled it. Um, I peeled this though because the skin is a little bit uh, thicker. And then I'm just cutting it on the bias, just some thin strips. Gets really fat at the end, so even if you wanted to cut it once it got a little thicker, okay. and then just keep going. Gotcha. All right. Um, and then we're just going to add those in with our onions and just let these saute um, kind of at a medium heat. Okay. And just keep stirring it yeah, the whole time? Yeah, we're going to kind of keep moving it and just really want to start to soften and um, almost caramelize the parsnips in a way. Okay. Now, as this is cooking, we are um, slicing up some apples. The apples are going to go in a little bit later because I like the crunch of the apples. I don't want them to get super soft. Like I want them to still be a little bit crunchy okay. and just kind of throw them in towards the end. Towards the end. Okay. Um, okay. So now some of my favorite things <laughs> as far as how do we bulk this up? First, uh -huh. brown butter. Okay. But I've got a few other tricks up my sleeve. Okay. One is um, a little cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay. Oh, so this is more of like a sweeter dish um, in a way because the onions are going to sweeten it up okay uh, but we're going to kind of add some other uh, dishes so I've got a little cinnamon going mm. in and a little bit of nutmeg all right now this wow. one you would not expect in a savory dish um, or with vegetables but trust me if you do it right it will knock your socks off really if you have a vanilla bean that's great yeah. right now I believe there's been a shortage in vanilla beans okay. so you may be looking and not finding it or finding it at a very high price point that you may not be used to. <laughs> so just go with, you know, a pure vanilla extract okay. um, and just a little tiny splash of vanilla. Interesting. In mm -hmm. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. All of the cooking. difference. I actually do vanilla sometimes with um, seafood okay. um, and cream really? um, in a very savory dish. Yeah, it, it is something else. Interesting. When, when done properly. Mm, this smells so good. All right. Too. So you see how that's just, it's a rustic color. It's coming yeah. together. You could add, you know, greens, but sometimes I think dishes look best mm -hmm. even when they're, you know, in that same color scheme and yes. they're not overly like garnished with uh -huh. parsley and herbs. Uh, but one herb that I would like with this might be some fresh thyme or uh -huh. rosemary um, if you wanted to do that. Okay. Cheese, you name it. Um, Final nice. favorite thing of the 
day walnut oil. Okay. This will go over in the very end just as a nice drizzle. But there you go. And that's it. it. Wow. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com. You can also find her on Instagram. Yeah, at Chef Allison Davis. And we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here.